Welcome! Here is a rundown of war in Ukraine. Donetsk battles are hell, says Zelensky after Kherson liberated. Battles being fought in Ukraine's eastern region of Donetsk are hell, President Volodymyr Zelensky has said, as pro-Kremlin forces put up a stiff fight after Russian forces fled Kherson. He said the retreating troops had destroyed all the city's critical infrastructure, including water and electricity supplies. Liberating Ukrainian soldiers also had to deal with nearly 2,000 mines, tripwires and unexploded shells, he added. Meanwhile, tough opposition was being encountered in Donetsk. Mr. Zelensky said, there it is just hell, there are extremely fierce battles there every day. But our units are defending bravely, they are withstanding the terrible pressure of the invaders, preserving our defense lines. Ukraine war to top agenda at Biden and Xi meeting. Russia's war in Ukraine will be among the pressing subjects topping the agenda at U.S. President Joe Biden's first meeting with Chinese leader Xi Jinping since taking office. The long-awaited face-to-face talks come as relations between the superpowers have sunk to their lowest in decades. The pair will meet on the Indonesian island of Bali ahead of the annual G20 summit of the world's major developed and emerging economies. The U.S. president is hoping to build a floor for the relationship with China and ensure there are rules that bound competition between the two nations. At Monday's meeting, Mr. Biden plans to be unapologetic in his defense of Ukraine following Moscow's invasion, according to U.S. officials. And... Ukraine will decide on timing and contents of talks with Russia. Ukraine will decide the timing and contents of any negotiations with Russia it has been stressed following talks between Kiev and Washington. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba on the sidelines of a summit in Cambodia. The Washington Post reported a week ago the White House was privately encouraging the Ukraine leadership to signal an openness to negotiate with Moscow and drop their public refusal to engage in peace talks unless Vladimir Putin was removed from power.